Hello everyone and welcome back to yet another Microsoft Dynamics 365 or CRM interview questions and answers video. In this video, I will be giving you step by step process of how you can connect to Dynamics 365 using C Sharp. So ladies and gentlemen, my name is Abhishek Doria and you are watching Dynamics Academy YouTube channel. Having said that, subscribe to Dynamics Academy and press the bell icon on your YouTube app to never miss a video from Dynamics Academy. So friends, the agenda of this video is first of all, we will see what are all the prerequisites that you need before you start understanding how you can connect to Dynamics 365 using C Sharp. And then I will give you a practical demo into Visual Studio where I will show you the step by step process of how you can connect to your Microsoft Dynamics 365 or CRM organization using C Sharp. And lastly, we'll see what's next I means what topics that we are going to cover in the next video. So having said that, let us now first of all see what are the basic prerequisites that you need before you start jumping into the Visual Studio or before you start actually writing the code for connecting to Dynamics 365 using c -Sir. So basically we have divided these prerequisites into two categories. First is must have and other one is good to have. We keep the uh, link in the description box as well and if you want to know how you can install the latest Dynamics 365 SDK step-by-step -step process for that we have already made a video which you can see by clicking on the link uh, given on top. Next thing what you must have is you must have a Dynamics 365 trial instance on which you can practice. If you don't have a trial instance yet then you can subscribe to the Dynamics 365 trial instance from the link given on your screen. We'll keep this link also in the description as well. And for this also, we have already prepared a video in which we have explained in detail how you can set up a Dynamics 365 30-day trial instance step by step. So without wasting much of your time, let me now give you a step-by-step -step demo of how you can connect to Dynamics 365 using C Sharp. So first of all, I will navigate to my trial instance. So you can see that this is the home page of my Dynamics 365 trial instance. And I will be connecting to this Dynamics 365 trial instance using my current login credentials. And we'll try to retrieve one of the existing contact. We'll try to retrieve this particular contact after connecting to Dynamics 365 using C Sharp from our console application. So now what I'm going to do is I will open my Visual Studio. Basically, I will uh, open my Visual Studio and here what you need to do is you need to first create a console application. For that, you need to click on create new project. I'll click on next. And I'm creating, clicking on create and you can see a new console application has been added i already have another project but that i have used for another demo in my previous videos you can, might have noticed but for this demo i am creating a new project called connect to dynamics 365 using shisha and i'm making this project as start startup project and the first thing that you need to do after you set up this project is to add the dynamics 365 dlls called microsoft.xrm.sdk.dll and microsoft.crm.sdk.proxy.dll into your project. Now the question is from where you will find this? You will find these two DLLs into Dynamics 365 SDK which you have downloaded and installed uh, which I have mentioned in the prerequisite or let's say if you do not have it then the next thing what you can do is you can install the NuGet package. You can browse for this Dynamics 365 NuGet package and here what you can select is microsoft.crm.sdk.coreassemblies version 9.0.2 this is the latest version you can select and you can click on install then you click here I accept and after some time you will notice that it is started installing that uh, NuGet package so now you can notice that these two references which is microsoft.xrm.sdk and the next one is crm.sdk.proxy is already added now after that there are two more dls you need to ensure one is system.runtime.serialization and system.service model so these two if you add that particular nuget package automatically these two runtime.serialization and service model these two dlls will also be added as a reference so now the setup is done the next point is you need to 
add this using statements to your code using statements and I'm simply pasting it. Now I'm going to write a code for connecting to Dynamics 365 and then I will explain that code line by line. The so first of all what we are doing is we are declaring an object called organization service of type I organization and then we are declaring the username and password through which we use to connect to our online Dynamics 365 trial instance. So if you use online Dynamics 365 trial instance you will have something email address like this as a username through which you will connect or if you are connecting through on-premise then you will have domain slash your username and next thing is you need to pass the password and after that what we are doing is we are getting an organization or service object by passing the organization service URL the first part is your organization name so this is your dynamic 365 trial instance organization name and after the API word and this is nothing but your region at the time of subscribing your trial instance you must have selected a region where your complete Dynamics 365 organization is hosted. So I have selected Indian region. So region number for India is 8. So that's why it is showing CRM 8. If you don't understand then go to your settings, advanced settings. It is going to open the settings page for you. And here you again you need to click here. Click on customizations. And here you can see an option called developer resources under customizations. So click on the developer resources, you will get all your URLs, API URLs, organization service URL, discovery service URL, everything here. So here what you need to capture is organization service URL. You can simply copy this completely and simply paste the URL here. So I'm just pasting on top for you to compare, you can see the URL which you have copied from developer resource and the one which we have built is same exactly same so now I will delete this one and after that I'm checking whether it is null or not if it is not null then I'm calling a method called retrieve contact and in that method I'm passing the same object which is nothing but the organized service object so remember one thing guys whenever you are working for Dynamics 365 CRM or uh, customer engagement code to C-Shop then always you must get an object of I organization service because through that object only you are going to do all your operations whether it is read, write, creating a record, basically anything whenever you want to manipulate anything from your code then the first and primary objective of you is to get an initialized object of an I organization so that will be your web API interface object so coming back to this point so in this method I am simply retrieving all the contacts you can see I am retrieving the contact and its full name contact ID and full name so this is a sample fact check XML through which I am retrieving all the contacts in the system and then using retrieve multiple call I will I'm looping through all the entities of the result set and I'm writing the full name of that so let me now run this code and see whether it is running perfectly or not so now you can see in my CRM instance there is only one contact which is Abhishek Doria so you can see I'm currently logged in with system administrator there is only one contact present in the system let me now create a new contact so I have created another contact called contact2 demo and now I'll run it again. You can see there are two contacts uh, which are present in the system are currently being listed out. So that means that your connection is established successfully. So the only thing you need to make sure is till this line of code your connection code is there and remaining all you are trying to use this I organization service object. So that is it friends. So I'm going to keep both this field security profile demo which I've shown up in my previous video and as well as the current code into my blog as well as uh, from there you will be able to download from the git repository. So having said that let us now see what's next. So friends if you still have any doubt or confusion then please leave a comment and post your queries in the comment box so that we'll try to address it as soon as possible and at the same time please help us deciding the next video uh, for time being we are putting these two topics if you like this video and if you want to continue this technical part of uh, the interview questions then 
type in the chat window dynamics 365 using c sharp or let's say if you are want to go on the theoretical aspect or the features aspect or out of the box features question and answer series then write dynamics 365 features in the comment box below and let's say if you don't want to select any of these two and if you have your own question that you have faced into your dynamics crm or 365 interview then please type others so whatever your question is please type that question in this comment box so we'll pick that question into our next video and make a video out of it so on that note if you like this video then please connect with us on all the major social media platforms we'll be putting all the links into the description box so from there you can connect with us on any of the social media channel that you like the most having said that i thank you for watching this video till the end so if you have learned something new out of this video then please like share and subscribe to dynamics academy and also press the bell icon so that you will never miss any update whenever we release a new video to our Dynamics Academy YouTube channel. And on that note, I end this video and take your leave. Hope to see you all in the next video. Till then, bye-bye and take care. And once again, thank you for your time.